Welcome to Kristen Starfish. I'm Kristen, and this is my trusty sidekick, Starfish. Today on Kristen Starfish, we're getting up close and personal with the adorable, quirky yellow box fish. We'll just ready, let's take a dive. Hello, my fellow underwater explorers. Get ready to dive into the marvelous world of the yellow box fish. Look at that. Can you see those bright and sunny fish? Oh, now this is Boxy, the yellow box fish. He is so cute. They're like the sunshine of the ocean and they have some super cool tricks up their fins. Let's learn all about them. Yellow box fish are like little underwater treasures. They're covered in bright golden yellow color. They have a box-like appearance, squared off bodies and sharp edges. This unusual shape helps to deter predators from by making them difficult to swallow. How is that for a choking hazard? Now, Boxy can also produce a potent toxin, which is secreted from their skin when they feel threatened. This toxin can be deadly to other fish and can even kill humans if they eat it. So don't touch them in the wild. Yellow box fish are slow swimmers. They have to use their pectoral flints to glide gracefully through the waters rather than rely on speed to escape predators. So Boxy, he's a really friendly little fella. They love to hang out with other fish on the reef, making friends all over. They're like the life of the underwater party. Did you know that during mating season, yellow box fish perform elaborate dances to try and attract some of the females? Yeah, this can be colorful body movements and different noises. Now, box fish are commonly found on coral reefs in, in shallow habitats, often by rocks and coral. They prefer these areas so they can find some place to close, go and hide to when everything big comes by that makes them feel threatened. They're really hard to find really look for them under the water and underneath those hanging coral branches. And there you go, explorers. Now you've got to meet the yellow box fish. They're super adorable and they're the sunshine of the sea. Thanks for taking a dive with me. You know, starfish, those little fish must feel really small in those big oceans. In a big world, sometimes we do feel stuck or lost, but we can think of ourselves as a sailor navigating those vast oceans, keeping our sights on our goals and trusting in our abilities that we'll be able to navigate and find our way. Okay, I think it's time for an activity. Let's go. of searching in the sand. I just got the call from the Coast Guard. We've got four sea creatures that are hidden here in the sand. Do you think you can help me find them and get them back in the ocean? All right, we got our bucket to keep looking. What else is on our bucket? Hmm, we got a crab, snap, snap. We got our octopus, octopus arms, and an umbrella. I love my bucket. Okay. Let's get our blue shovel today and let's start searching in the sand. Oh, a stick! That's not what we're looking for. What do we got? Oh no, a whale shark! He definitely belongs back in the ocean. shark. We're gonna get you back in the water soon, buddy. Whoa, what's this? A walrus? I bet he wants to find cooler waters. Wants 
to get back in the water too. One whale shark. Two hammerhead shark. Number three was walrus. And four, red lobster. Time to get these guys back in the water. Thanks so much for searching in the sand with me. I'll see you again. Join us next time for more adventures with Kristen Starfish. Until next time, keep swimming with purpose and making a positive impact. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I can be reached anytime, drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be starfish. Take care.